Imagine your computer, phone, or even a powerful AI system running at full speed. What you might not realize is, there's a hidden problem inside and it's heating up fast. Every time your computer runs an app, streams a video, or powers an AI model, whether you're training it or just using it, it's generating heat. And as chips get smaller and more powerful, that heat becomes harder to control. If it isn't managed well, performance drops, energy waste rises, and hardware life shortens. This is why researchers and industry leaders are turning to an advanced idea that is microfluidic cooling. Microfluidic cooling uses networks of channels thinner than a human hair to circulate fluids right next to or even inside the processor. Instead of removing heat only at the chip surface, like traditional cooling does, this technique targets the hot spots at their exact source. The concept is grounded in fluid dynamics and heat transfer principles. The narrow channels ensure laminar flow, where liquid moves smoothly in layers without turbulence, improving predictability and efficiency. Engineers also study heat transfer coefficients, the measure of how effectively heat moves from solid silicon into the flowing liquid. Microfluidic cooling is not a new buzzword. The idea first appeared in academic literature in 1981, with Stanford researchers proposing etched micro channels for electronic cooling. Over four decades later, advances in chip design and manufacturing are finally making it feasible. Chips now pack billions of transistors into millimeters of space. In high-performance computing, AI training, and cloud data centers, these chips can reach extreme power densities. Traditional cooling, fans, heat sinks, even liquid cooling loops can't always target the small hotspots. Microfluidics, on the other hand, can be designed to route fluid exactly where heat is generated. The real opportunity lies in how this technology merges with modern chip packaging. In co-packaged designs, such as chiplets or three-dimensional stacking, heat builds up in layers deep inside the structure. Microfluidic cooling channels can be etched between or within these layers to directly extract heat. A critical detail is the choice of fluid. While water has excellent thermal properties, it poses risks if it leaks. That's why many researchers and companies explore dielectric fluids, which don't conduct electricity and are safer around electronics. If you're new to my channel, please check out my videos and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Market signals are well, becoming pretty clear. This is no longer just an academic idea. Industry adoption is emerging. In 2023, HP and NVIDIA collaborated on silicon cold plate technology that integrates fluid cooling closer to chips. Microsoft also has also been experimenting with em embedded cooling solutions for its data centers. The US Department of Energy launched the Cooler Chips Initiative in 2023, funding projects aimed at improving energy efficiency in data center cooling by up to 90%. So these moves really signal that microfluidics is moving from lab research into serious commercial exploration. Alongside these commercial moves, research groups at institutions such as IBM and Ethai Zurich have demonstrated working prototypes of microfluidic cooling. Several startups are also exploring practical applications. However, this technology is still in early stages and has not yet reached mainstream consumer devices. Direct removal of heat at hotspots, smaller, more compact cooling systems compared to bulky heat sinks, potential reduction in overall energy use for cooling, 
improved chip performance, and longer hardware lifespan. Like any engineering solution, it comes with trade-offs. Microchannels are prone to clogging from impurities in fluids. Pumps that circulate coolant can wear over time. Fluids themselves may degrade chemically, reducing efficiency. And integrating these systems adds complexity and cost to chip manufacturing. Data centers consume enormous amounts of electricity with cooling accounting for a large share. By improving thermal efficiency, microfluidic cooling can reduce energy demand, lower costs, and help shrink the carbon footprint of computing. Thank you for watching this video. I'll catch you in another exciting one soon. Until then, goodbye and take care.